Yeah, and I, I, of course, the bonds can swindle the equity investor to everything. I, 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 and inflation, I should say, swindles the, the bond investor too. And they, it swindles the person who keeps their cash under their mattress. It swindles almost everybody. And um, the problem, if you have a business that doesn't take any capital, and let's just say the dollar depreciates 90% or something, so things cost 10 times as much. If it doesn't take any capital, you can charge 10 times as much, and you've kept your relative position. But most businesses take some capital. If our utility business, if, if just to say that the dollar is worth one-tenth uh, some years hence from now, we have to have 10 times the capital investment, basically. And we get paid a return on that but we have forced capital investment uh, to essentially keep them in the same place. And uh, I wrote an article that uh, related to that. And I will tell you a very one famous story, which you will all sympathize with. And that I wrote that story for Fortune. And when I finished it, it was about 7,000 words. And Fortune doesn't didn't like publishing 7,000 words, and they had my friend Carol Loomis explain that to me, knowing that I would pay more attention to her than anybody else, but being stubborn and male, I said, uh, uh, you know, every word is precious, and they can either run it or not. So then they sent an editor, a very nice guy, out to Omaha, and this guy explained to me that just wasn't right to use that many words, and uh, I said, well, that's fine, but if you don't do it, I'll write it someplace else or something. Very disgusting behavior on my part. And then I sent it. It was, it was beginning to bother me a little. So I sent it to my friend Meg Greenfield. And Meg was a great, great, great editor at the Washington Post. And we were very, very good friends. Wonderful woman. And Meg who was tough as nails with most writers, but she was kind of nice. She, was, she didn't want to really hurt me too much. So she said, I said, well, Meg, what do you think? And she said, well, Warren, she says, you don't have to tell everything you know in this article. <laughs> and and it, it, uh, it, made, it made the point. And so I'd write that letter, I'd write that article shorter, and uh, but I'd say more or less the the same thing. No, it, you're better off if, if, if you really could have a totally stable unit of, 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 of uh, a monetary uh, use uh, for the next hundred years. It would be better, better for, better for uh, business and investors in general. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe Financial Thinking YouTube channel and follow us on social media.